As we walked through the bustling aisles of the store, my mom's excitement was palpable. She had this sparkle in her eye, the kind she gets when she's onto something she deems special. Look at this, she exclaimed, holding up a dress. It was unlike anything I'd seen in the boys' section, short, vibrant, and undeniably stylish. Mom, is that for me? I asked, a bit taken aback. I'd never worn a dress before. It felt like uncharted territory. Yes, honey, she replied, her voice filled with encouragement. Fashion is evolving, and I think you'll look great in this. It's the new trend. Standing in front of the dressing room mirror, I hesitated. The dress was shorter than I expected, its fabric light and airy against my skin. I stepped out to show my mom, feeling a mix of nervousness and curiosity. You look fantastic, she beamed. But remember, since it's quite short, keep your knees together when sitting. It's about comfort and appropriateness. I nodded, still trying to wrap my head around this new look. I guess it's cool to try something different, I mused, meeting my own gaze in the mirror. The reflection showed someone bold, someone unafraid to break norms. My mom put her hand on my shoulder, giving it a gentle squeeze. It's great to explore new styles, honey. Just be yourself, and you'll be fine. As we left the store, dress in hand, I felt a newfound sense of confidence. It was more than just clothing, it was about expressing who I am in my own unique way. The day of my mother's party arrived, a day marked with the warm glow of the afternoon sun and a house buzzing with excitement. My mom, ever the fashion enthusiast, had a gleam in her eye as she approached me, the dress in hand. It's perfect for today, she said, her voice a blend of encouragement and excitement. You'll be the star of the party. As I slipped into the dress, the fabric felt familiar and comforting this time. My mom's hands were gentle as she applied a bit of makeup on my face, her touch as reassuring as her words. The androgynous look is so in right now, and you, my dear, have the perfect look for it. I looked in the mirror, hardly recognizing myself, but in a good way. I was someone new, someone braver, someone unafraid to challenge the norms. The makeup was subtle yet transformative, highlighting my features in a way I never imagined. As guests started to arrive, I felt a flutter of nerves. But any apprehension melted away with their reactions. Compliments flowed, and their acceptance was liberating. They saw me not as someone out of place, but as someone embracing a new, authentic self. The party was a whirlwind of laughter, music, and dancing. I felt free, twirling in the dress, each spin a celebration of self-expression. My friends, a mix of familiar faces and new acquaintances, surrounded me, their smiles reflecting a shared joy. My mom watched from a distance, her eyes sparkling with pride. She had given me more than a dress, she had given me a new perspective on identity and self-expression. As the night drew to a close, I realized the party wasn't just a gathering, it was a turning point. In that short, vibrant dress, with makeup accentuating my features, I found a new part of myself. It was an experience beyond fashion, a journey into the heart of who I am and who I could be. It was liberating, exhilarating, and utterly unforgettable.